Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner! In this video, we will solve quadratic equation by factoring. Quadratic equation in standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. Example of quadratic equation is x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0, where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, c is equal to negative 10. Let us solve the following quadratic equations by factoring. Number 1, x squared plus 6x is equal to 0. Number 2, x squared plus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. Number 3, x squared minus 11x plus 24 is equal to 0. Number 4, x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0. And number 5, 4x squared minus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. Let us begin. Example number 1, x squared plus 6x is equal to 0. In this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, c is equal to 0. There is no constant term in this equation. Since the constant term is missing, we can factor this by its common monomial factor. The common monomial factor here is x. If we factor out x, we are left with x plus 6 since x squared divided by x is equal to x and 6x divided by x is equal to 6. So we have x times x plus 6 is equal to 0. After factoring, we will apply zero factor property. In zero factor property, if a times b is equal to 0, then a is equal to 0, or b is equal to 0, or both a and b equal to 0. Applying the zero factor property in x times x plus 6 is equal to 0, we have x is equal to 0 and x plus 6 is equal to 0. Let us solve for x. We already have one value of x. Let us solve for x in x plus 6 is equal to 0. To solve for x, we will add negative 6 to both sides of the equation x plus 6 plus negative 6 is equal to x, and 0 plus negative 6 is equal to negative 6. Therefore, the values of x are 0 and negative 6. Example number 2, we have x squared plus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. In this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, and c is equal to 8. Since the value of a is equal to 1, factors of this are two binomials of the form x plus blank times x plus blank is equal to 0. Let us determine the number that we will write here. Let us multiply the values of a and c. In this equation, a is equal to 1 and c is equal to 8. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Let us determine the factors of 8 when added is equal to 6 or the value of b. The factors of 8 are positive 1 and 8, positive 2 and 4, negative 1 and negative 8, negative 2 and negative 4. The factors that we need are 2 and 4 since 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So we have x plus 2 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. Applying the zero factor property, we have x plus 2 is equal to 0 and x plus 4 is equal to 0. Let us solve for x. In x plus 2 is equal to 0, we need to add negative 2 to both sides of the equation. x plus 2 plus negative 2 is equal to x and 0 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 2. In x plus 4 is equal to 0, we need to add negative 4 to both sides of the equation. x plus 4 plus negative 4 is equal to x, 
and 0 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 4. The values of x are negative 2 and negative 4. Example number 3, we have x squared minus 11x plus 24 is equal to 0, where a is equal to 1, b is negative 11, c is 24. Again, the value of a is equal to 1, so we have this format. Let us multiply the values of a and c. a is equal to 1, c is equal to 24. 1 times 24 is equal to 24. Let us find factors of 24 when added is equal to negative 11. And the factors that we need are negative 3 and negative 8 since negative 3 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 11. So we have x plus negative 3 times x plus negative 8 is equal to 0. Since x plus negative 3 is also equal to x minus 3, and x plus negative 8 is also equal to x minus 8, let us rewrite this as x minus 3 times x minus 8 is equal to 0. Let us apply zero factor property. We have x minus 3 is equal to 0, and x minus 8 is equal to 0. Let us solve for x. In x minus 3 is equal to 0, we need to add positive 3 to both sides of the equation. x minus 3 plus 3 is equal to x, 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. In x minus 8 is equal to 0, we need to add positive 8 to both sides of the equation. x minus 8 plus 8 is equal to x, and 0 plus 8 is equal to 8. The two values of x are positive 3 and positive 8. Example number 4, we have x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0, where a is equal to 1, b is negative 5, c is equal to negative 36. Let us multiply the values of a and c. a is equal to 1 and c is equal to negative 36. 1 times negative 36 is equal to negative 36. Let us find factors of negative 36 when added is equal to negative 5. And the factors that we need are negative 9 and positive 4 since negative 9 plus 4 is equal to negative 5. Let us write the factors of x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0. For negative 9, we have x minus 9, and for positive 4, we have x plus 4, and we have x minus 9 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. By zero factor property, we have x minus 9 is equal to 0, and x plus 4 is equal to 0. Let us solve for x. In x minus 9 is equal to 0, we need to add positive 9 to both sides of the equation. x minus 9 plus 9 is equal to x. 0 plus 9 is equal to 9. In x plus 4 is equal to 0, we need to add negative 4 to both sides of the equation. x plus 4 plus negative 4 is equal to x. And 0 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 4. And the values of x are positive 9 and negative 4. Example number 5, we have 4x squared minus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. In this equation, a is equal to 4, b is negative 5, c is negative 6. Let us multiply the values of a and c. a is equal to 4, c is negative 6, and 4 times negative 6 is equal to negative 24. Let us determine factors of negative 24 when added is equal to negative 5. And the factors that we need are negative 8 and positive 3 since negative 8 plus 3 is equal to negative 5. Let us divide negative 8 and positive 3 by the value of a. Negative 8 divided by 4, and 3 divided by 4. 
let us simplify. Negative 8 divided by 4 is equal to negative 2. 3 divided by 4 or 3 over 4 is already in its lowest term. Let us write the factors. For negative 2, we have x minus 2. And for 3 over 4, we have 4x plus 3. The denominator is the coefficient of x. Let us apply the zero factor property. We have x minus 2 is equal to 0. And 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Let us solve for x. In x minus 2 is equal to 0, we need to add positive 2 to both sides of the equation. x minus 2 plus 2 is equal to x, and 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. In 4x plus 3 is equal to 0, we need to add negative 3 to both sides of the equation. 4x plus 3 plus negative 3 is equal to 4x, 0 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 3. And to solve for x, we need to divide both sides by 4. 4x divided by 4 is equal to x, and we have negative 3 over 4. And the values of x are positive 2 and negative 3 over 4. And that is how to solve quadratic equation by factoring. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.